You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. Johnson. The AfterBuzz After Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and Bing.com and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Arrow After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's Arrow After Show. Hey. Hi. Good evening, After Buzzers. We are here talking about Arrow episode 12, Vertigo season one. I am Kaori Take, and with me are... Kelly. Hi, I'm Ali Kona. Hey, guys, I'm Annika. And on the couch, we got... Hey, everybody, I'm back. It's Anne. So we just watched a really nice episode. I think the, the, these episodes are getting better and better. And now, this time, I can jump into it because the intros were made. Last week, I completely forgot. She's fired. <laughs> Who hired her? I anyway? know. I was so excited about talking about Steven and his abs and <laughs> et cetera. Right. But, you know, I've learned to control my patience. Anyway, so we start off with Thea because a lot of things are happening with her. She is about to go to jail, but then Laurel saves her butt. Rightfully so. The jail part. Ish. Because yeah. here we see this judge who's obviously a little bit of a bitter Betty because the whole entire community is being taken over by this drug. So he's making her this poster child and making her example, you know, basically, you're rich, so what? You're not going to get out of it this time, and I'm going to prove it. Yeah, I was like Lindsay Lohan. Yeah, it was Ugh. completely a Lindsay Lohan type of thing, making an example out of her when she's not the only one that's done it, you know, before. and. Certainly won't be the last one to do it. But, but. Yeah, right. granted, you know, people probably did it and then drive off into a tree or wherever she drove. Oh, well, yeah, that was kind of dumb. <laughs> Let me do drugs and, and drive. But aside from that, it's I her fault that car came out of nowhere. The car? <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> just like the tree came out of yes. nowhere, too. Yeah. <laughs> it just grew real fast. But I mean, okay, not that I know that we're supposed to love Thea in her own way or whatever, but I kind of, <laughs> she's laughing because clearly she doesn't. <laughs> feel like, yeah, the judge is kind of a bitter grandpa, but at the same time, he has a point. I get it. He's trying to make, just because you're rich, it doesn't make you special, and I'm going to make sure everybody knows about it. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, but at the same time, too, it's not like in Lindsay Lohan's case where this is like the 17th time she's been arrested. Of she's course. never been arrested before. This is her first offense. And so, granted, she's not taking it seriously. She's being very bratty about it. And But she, she's acting like a teenager. She's acting like kind of like a 13, 14-year-old versus an 18-year-old. You know, she's not understanding that this is a real consequence. This is not, you know, this is not going to be easy. If she ends up having to go to jail, it's not like she can call her mom to get her out of it. Like, jail is, no, you know, no joke. Right. And she's just not processing that. She's thinking that she's going to be in trouble and it's going to ruin her mom's life. She's not thinking that it's actually ruining hers. Right. And, you know, I, I can relate to that, you know, as a teenager. You don't think about things in the right way. You think about things in a bratty way, and you're you're just not processing, and that's kind of what she's doing. So in that sense, I mean, I, I just don't think it was really fair to go that far with her. She'd never been in trouble before, and so what if she's being a brat? You know, she's a teenager, whatever. Okay, but I'm but, sorry. Going back to that, though, okay? <laughs> At the same time, if you're going to be that dumb, no offense, yes, you're young, and you're being immature, and you're acting out because of all these things that have just spiraled downward in your life. Mm -hmm. If you're going to sit there and say, well, I'm going to go to jail just to ruin mom's life, well, then mm -hmm. learn your lesson. And maybe yeah. she should go to jail no. to learn that it's mm -hmm. ruining her life and not her mom's. I'm with you, girl. Right, but I mean, you know, think about everything that's happened. Think about what she's thinking about. I mean, just see both sides of it. Because, yeah, she's being a brat, and my first instinct is, okay, go see how you like it in jail. Totally, okay. I get that. I'm on, I'm on your side. Mm -hmm. well, how about you two ladies? What side are you guys on? I'm torn, because correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't Oliver get 
like he acted up in one of the episodes and he got in an accident on his motorcycle. I thought there was something that happened early on in the season where he had ridden his motorcycle and gotten in an accident and then they go to the hospital and everything is okay again. Well, no, that was because he was trying to see, he went after the person that almost shot at his mom. Oh, that's that right. That was what I mean, so it, it wasn't like okay. he was partying to do it, but that's what they thought. Okay. That he had, that's what kind of his cover up story. Because that's where I was torn. I was like, why is Thea getting, mm -hmm. you know, crapped on when he kind of did the same thing earlier in the season? Oh, but I get it. Yeah, I don't think was, it's the same thing. <laughs> no. You know, he, she was doing drugs. No, but yeah. he, he was the party one before, though. Remember, before the right. island, before yeah. all that, he was the one getting in trouble all the time, right. drinking all the time, and was like constantly drunk. And, you know, um, What's his name even makes a joke about it? Like you're the one that's constantly I, you spent most of your twenties in a hangover. You know, like that's kind of what he was. So she's just acting out. I can't believe you are on Thea's side. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> trying to see. Oh, well, I'm just trying to see both sides of it because you know when you're when you're young and you ha are very entitled and have that certain sense of entitlement you don't understand but what it's what what it's like I, I so. mean you're you say that this is her first offense sure it's her first like official offense well, but she's done a lot of messed up stuff right, right. Yeah. it's the first time she's gone but it's like any of us i mean come on you go to the bar you have a couple of drinks and then you get in the car it's, it's the same kind of thing if you get pulled over you can get a dui after two drinks you know what i mean it's not the best choice but you're not thinking like that you know you think you're okay you think you're fine she's mad because she thinks she saw her mom having an affair and that's all that's in her head i'm not saying it's right i'm not saying it's a good thing and she should absolutely have to do something and she should be punished for it but to the full extent of the law i don't know Annika, be the be the breaker here. What do, you, what do you think? No, I'm torn because, like, I agree with her though. Like, you know, I I have to side with Alakana because I <laughs> I get I get what you're saying. I trust me. I like get both sides of mm -hmm. it. And if I was a judge, I don't know what I would do. But mm -hmm. I do think it's like, yeah, it's kind of not fair to make her the poster child. Like, to because yeah, everyone, like she said, everyone kind of does things. Everyone does like the bad things, and it's like. I feel like she's thinking she's rich and her mom's going to get her out of it and she wants to just ruin her mom's life, but at the same time, it is going to ruin her life. And if right. she has to go to jail to learn her lesson, then so mm -hmm. be it. I mean, but isn't she, I was going to say really quick, though, mm -hmm. you saying, you know, making her the poster child, but she also, too, was the first person, I think, that officially got caught using it and doing something in yeah. that sense to where it can be... Reprimanded. Oh, was she the first? Person? Yeah. So okay. that's another. But how reason could why. she have been the first person to get caught if this is ruining the city? Then well, somebody, you know, what I, I mean, think, like I that. Know. That cannot be true because if it, this is something that's taking over their city, she's not the first one. I think she's the first notable mm -hmm. person that, to that, get well, caught. That's, that's exactly the thing because she's one of the first notable pers people that is taking this vertigo drug. Right. So she so, needs to be the poster child, which makes sense because if it was a Joe Schmo, no one would really watch it. Right. And I get that, but at, at the same time, is it fair? Is it fair on our side? Is it, is it fair there that you know? You know, she does things that people have gotten caught with before, but just because she has money, you know, okay, well, we're going to, well, well, you but, know. but I mean, it goes on both I'm sides. Right. It, it definitely mm -hmm. goes on both sides, and I totally get it. And I, like I said, I think she should be punished for sure. I think she should have to do some kind of time. And, you know, 500 hours of community service, two years of probation. Eh. That's not good enough. I think on the flip you know. side, she got off easy because she has inside people that she knows that she walks away around. Yeah, absolutely. But at the same time, how many people with money, because you're saying because she's got money, whatever, whatever, how many people with money have gotten off because of money? Well, no, it's I so know, true. and that, yeah. that's yeah. why, he, that's, that's the example point. that he's setting. That's what he's making. That's right. what the judge was saying it was exactly that. Just because you have money doesn't mean you get to get away with it, so this is what I'm going to do for you, is I'm going to make sure that everybody knows that even the queens couldn't get away with this. Right. You know, to set an example for the city, which, I, like I said, I get it, but I just think it was a little harsh for it being her first time and all of that and you know yes she should be in trouble but I just don't think it should have been like that that harsh and I think I do think that her sentence ultimately was a little too easy she should have yes, spent at I least so one too. day in jail yeah a yeah. week a week <laughs> a month like, I think, I was, I think I'm, I'm yeah. pretty sure it, it might be like only would take like one day and like scare her straight I mean I wouldn't want to spend one minute there but true uh -huh. Yeah. yeah, she was just being a complete brat face about it, though. Well, yeah. Like, she did not even care about the consequences. All she cared about was hurting her mother. But then when she found out that, I don't even know if it's true, that mm -hmm. her father was the actual cheater, which I call BS. Um, but well, he was I mean, an actual whether, bad guy. Yeah, whether he cheated or not, he was still a bad I think, guy. I think Mo Moira's a, a liar, though. That's the point. Is like She's probably lying no matter what to her kids, obviously. So I just don't mm -hmm. trust either story they're probably both real mm -hmm. both liars mm -hmm. but i do think that thea is going to try to make a switch after she found that out right and it's also hard because the dad's not here to defend himself which so i like, hate it's yeah. like you know she can say whatever she wants and no one can like 
really find out his side of the story fully, you know? Yeah. yeah. Well, he, well, obviously Oliver yeah. believes it. So I don't know if Oliver is being played around, which I'm sure he is, but that's probably going to change real well, soon. Well, even the conversation that he did have with his dad, though, before, you know, yeah. when he was giving him mm -hmm. the book and, you know, all of that, he alluded to the fact that he wasn't a good guy. And that's basically what he told Thea. The only added thing was the cheating from what, what his mom told her. But the rest of it was stuff that he actually you, did hear from his dad. But do you think Robert would have told his son I did cheat on your mom. No, and he boat. didn't. I mean, that's the part he got from her. Yeah. But the rest of it, wasn't that what he said on the boat to him? That he yeah, he stuff. did, mm -hmm. like, he did, you know, he wasn't there for his family. He wasn't the man that you thought that I was. Right. So all of that stuff actually was true, came from yeah. the father. To what extent that means or what all of that, I mean, we don't know yet. You know, it's, it's still, we'll see. But as far as the cheating, that's the only thing that came from Myra. Yeah, yeah, so. but it's not like she did. She converse with Stephen about it. Stephen, I'm calling you uh. guys. <laughs> she knows like him personally. <laughs> you know? Yeah, she's she's like she told him. <laughs> she, she told him, him that. that. She told right. him that last episode, didn't she? Did she? I don't know. I think I'm she did. Forgot. I think she told him the last episode because he confronted her and said, yes, that's right. Thea thinks that you're cheating." Right. And she told him, "No, it was actually the other way around." But see, I don't think Mo this is a thing that bothers me. I don't think Moira was saying it because she was being honest she was saying it to like cover her ass of course mm -hmm. oh excuse me <laughs> beep. is there an after buzz beep? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, hold on i want to talk because we're talking about all this stuff but i want to talk about the vice cop that steps in mckenna who is his uh -huh. ex-girlfriend and i'm going to jump ahead a little bit i mm -hmm. think she at the end of the show knows who he is I remember know. how she picked up that syringe. She had to have done some DNA testing and find his fingerprints. Well, on me well, jumping over that, I think Felicity Smoke will know who he is. Thank you. Yeah, well, that's somebody, my prediction too. Yeah, well, yeah. somebody close to him is supposed to find out, and I can't right. imagine it would be the vice cop. She's not that close in our eyes. True. So huh. it's got. I would think it would have to be somebody that we know him to be close to. I think Felicity Smoke. She's so useful. Yeah. As well. She'd well, be great. she's not stupid. And the stupid yeah. stories he tells her. Right. Yeah. You know what's funny is because I was calling it even before the mm -hmm. very ending scene or what have you, mm -hmm. when he's telling her all these stories and she's like, uh-huh. I'm like, okay, first of mm -hmm. all, you've given her so many things that are illegal every single episode. <laughs> and mm -hmm. she kind of calls them with the results every single time. Like, well, um, so that party? <laughs> yeah. Like, she's not dumb. If she can figure all that other stuff out, then she could probably figure out that something's not right. Right. You know? Sorry, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Well, before we continue, I wanted to thank all our viewers for listening and watching us every week and watching After Buzz all the time. This is your chance to help us a little more and go to iTunes or YouTube. We here at After Buzz love doing this. And if you're listening on iTunes or watching on YouTube, please rate us. Give us a comment. We will hit you back. We like leaving. We like keeping the conversation going. We love all the feedback, whether it's bad or good. Especially good. Five <laughs> stars, please. Five stars. We had yeah. five yes. stars as yeah. of last week. Yes. So keep the so, five stars yes. coming. Keep it going. We have about 60 shows this season. So if you watch TV, you will probably find an after show on After Buzz TV. So I just do find three us. of them just today. So. Just today. <laughs> this, this girl is After Buzz super fan. Right? So. But yeah, but definitely leave comments too because we'd like to know what you think about the characters and the storylines and all of that. And if there's something that we're for, you know missing from the comic books and all of that, we definitely want to know. Yeah, we'd love to hear more insight about the comic books too. That's something mm -hmm. that we really wanted to merge into this show. So yeah, thank you so much. And yes. keep the conversation going. So what do we think about the count? Um, oh, Lord. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm a little disappointed because obviously I'm the one who relayed the news because I read that his performance was going to be this phenomenal, life-changing experience. Thanks for building it up. I know. And it was like, uh, okay, is that what's going on? But random piece of information. Okay. Uh -huh. I read that when Stephen Amell was auditioning for the part, the gentleman who plays the count, Seth Gable, was actually the person that he auditioned against in a fighting scene uh -huh. or something or other. And I thought that was really cool that they're kind of reuniting because mm. they both got it. Well, yeah, but I mean, obviously, Stephen was auditioning right. for the lead and he got it. Yeah. yeah. So Did he? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, well, he got it. How, was it just me or does, um, what's his name, Seth Gable? Yeah. Does he, remi he reminded me so much of the soup guy. Um... Oh, I know you're talking about. I, I said gosh. his name earlier. Uh, oh my gosh! Oh, What's his Joel name? McHale. Joel McHale. <laughs> yes. I thought he kind of sounded like him too. He had a little Joel McHale thing going on. You okay. didn't think so? 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I guess I guess I so. Totally do. Yeah. I, I mean, the the count. I, I wish he. I, I think villains are so fun to play and so fun to watch. I was a little disappointed to be honest because he seemed a little like I don't know too theatrical and not mm. TV ish. I can't explain. But I it. think that's what the point of right. the character was. I, I think he was supposed to be theatrical and funny, and it reminded me a lot of like the Riddler I don't know if from it was Batman. To be funny yeah. though. But you know what I mean? Like he was supposed to be quirky, mm. and you know, because he's. Yeah, I mean, he's this short. tall, like skinny. You know, he's not like a big muscular, like scary guy. He's got to have. Can you be? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like he's got to have something else going for him, and the yeah. fact that he was so like crazy and ridiculous. Well, I think like that's one what of I think it was. one of you guys mentioned it was kind of like the Joker. Or even no, I thought it was the Riddler. Riddler. Like, yeah. the Riddler yeah. from Batman. Sure. That's what it kind of reminded me of, because he was so outrageous and so out there, but did, like, all these, like, but whacked out things. But here's the thing. He wasn't outrageous enough. It's like, I feel like he needed to go balls to the he wall. He was, like, killing... There, there he was testing... Again. Yeah. <laughs> testing <laughs> drugs on, like, homeless people <laughs> and prostitutes. But, okay, the, the part in the very, very the beginning puncture, where they like introduce... like, a vampire? No, 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 but when they introduce him, <laughs> and he basically forces this guy to commit suicide because he's in so much pain, that part, I was all, whoa. Right. I mean, that just shows the kind of, like, he's nuts. Well, yeah, but I, I still wanted to see him, like, <laughs> I mean, what? Well, I think, insane. Well, I think we're going to see more of that. To come. I mean, I don't think I, that's the last of him that, I don't you know, think so that we've no. seen. So no. maybe that that was just a little soft intro. And did you ladies like, uh, what do you think of uh, the count? Well, it was hard to believe him as a supervillain. I mean, in the comic book, you know, he's supposed to be this person who's, you know, really good at hand-to-hand -hand combat. We didn't really see him fight. Yeah. He was we kind of puny. We saw him fight a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Lose. We saw a little bit of it, but he, did, but he did actually put up a little bit of a fight. Okay. Yes. So, you know, I mean, he's fighting that, you know, big old, you know, yeah. see the arrow. Okay, so. but who's under the influence and still detoxing. <laughs> but still. Which, by the way, I love how they play homage to, you know, the vertical effect where the yeah, camera right, angle, right. every time somebody yeah. was under it, it was, mm -hmm. you know, kind of warped and shaking. That was really cool. Good call. Yeah, yeah. that was. I liked it. I liked like seeing the side of him, like when he gave vertigo to that guy, and he like gave him the gun. He's like, "There's only one bullet left. You can either shoot yourself, get yourself out of the misery, or shoot me." Mm -hmm. And then obviously, like he shot himself because nobody wants to be in that much pain. So, but like it just showed like a kind of more evil side to him. Like you know what I mean? Like yeah, he's tall and lanky, and he's not as strong and mm -hmm. like buff and. Gorgeous well, as Steven, but you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm not concerned about like his physical appearance. Right. I just, but I, I wanted to see more of like a, a show. But I think that that will happen. Obviously, like the last thing we see is like he kind of looks borderline insane as he's being walked, uh, carried yeah. off. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. So absolutely. when he comes back, yeah. he's just gonna be crazy. Lost his marbles for sure. Yeah. Right. Which I'm excited about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to keep it PG. I'm like that, 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 that my her. Hey guys, <laughs> just so you know, she likes them crazy. I do. I do like them crazy. Entertaining. What about McKenna? Do you think we're going to see her again? Yeah. Like, yes. That was such a short. I didn't really get to. And much I was of okay that. with that, honestly. If I, I don't see her, I'd be okay with it. But well, we will see her, so maybe we'll develop. I thought into something. I was gonna feel like there was more of kind of like a relationship between them, and I didn't. No really. chemistry. No chemistry. She she no chemistry. Mm -hmm. yeah. I didn't think. I th I don't think that they have chemistry together whatsoever. Like there's no there's no kind of like hidden passion there. It must have been just like a fling. It doesn't feel like there was a real relationship. So. And so it's kind of like Laurel's and Tommy's relationship. I, I know. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like the way that we feel about how it's forced. Right. Like yeah. that's kind of the right. way that I felt about these two. That, that we like it was set up that they were, it was supposed to be some, you know, blast from the past. It was a little bit more romantic and I just didn't really feel it. But speaking of Laurel and Oliver, I always want to call him Steven now. Oh. <laughs> speaking of, of 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 the two of them, when when Oliver shows up and he's showing up to get information about Thea, get help and all that other good stuff, did anybody else notice that just the look alone, when Laurel looks at Steven, Oliver, <laughs> <laughs> to me, I can tell there's still feelings there. Absolutely. And, it's just like, and then when she, when she looks at Tommy, it's like a blank stare. I'm having conversations with my homie. What's yeah. up? <laughs> cool breakfast? Oh, all right. I Misty. feel bad mm -hmm. for them. Well, I feel the same way when uh, when Tommy looks at with at Ollie. Like, it's that same, he like, he knows. Mm -hmm. When he opens the door, he's like, oh, ouch. Fuck. You know what I mean? It's like he's like, I took ten paces back just by looking at you. <laughs> I, 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 there's definitely like those Something. unresolved feelings there, and you know that was their first love. You know, each of them together. So it's just Tommy's just always going to be the third wheel, and he feels it every time. 
and that has to suck. Now, are you, are you familiar with the comic books? Just a bit. So on the Count, is he um, related to the Baratha, Baratha in the comic books, the not, Russian? Not that I know of. I think that might just be for the show, but I know that he is a descendant of some sort of royalty. He's like the last heir to this throne that... Uh, wherever he's from. So I don't know if they're going to tie that story in, but I don't think that gang, the Russian gang that they showed uh, in the show, I don't think they existed in the comics. So, Thank you for that, because I was just curious. I was like, I, I would love to know more and more about all that stuff. Um, well, I thought, oh, sorry. Oh, I was just going to say, like, I thought it was really cool to see um, I was going to call him Steven now. Uh, <laughs> how, our boy Ollie. Mm -hmm. I, I, how he choked the guy and he, yes. we yeah. thought he killed him. But yeah. he didn't. That's a very cool trick. Mm -hmm. See, but I knew he wasn't going to kill him. I, I thought he did it. it. I oh, thought he did I didn't. it. I didn't either. I thought, no, there's got to be like something because he's not just going to do it. But then when the guy dropped, I had second thoughts. But No, I knew around. it was a trick. And I knew it had to be something from the island just because they started going back and forth. Mm -hmm. like, stories are going to start to parallel. And they did. Mm -hmm. They always parallel. I it, love the island scenes, by the way. Yes. Well, and then we find out where he learned that trick. Yes. Because it yes. was done on him. Yeah. You know, which it, it was the same basic situation. Right. That it looked like, what was it? What's his name? Yao Fei. Yeah. We yeah. were led to believe mm -hmm. he was an enemy, but he was putting on an act. Mm -hmm. And see, I, I knew that, too. Like, yeah. there was just no way. Why? Like, just like Oliver's character said, why would you teach me all these things? Why would you rescue me if you're just going to hand me over? So yeah. something was up. That's true. Absolutely. I like how they were having, like, fight club on the island. <laughs> right. Like, you know, crazy. So a gladiator it was just, moves. Yeah, just to, you know, what did he say it was for? For, like, unity within the with the team or something? That's exactly how I unite. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what we do out of the show. If you guys show. didn't know, <laughs> <laughs> put him in the trunk of the car. Right, right. Monica loves that. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. So what did you guys think of, like, the, the way everything was, <clears throat> excuse me, the count? So the count got caught. And then the police came. I felt like Officer Lance messed it up a little bit for Oliver. Oh, yeah. Like, and I, that frustrates me because he is like, he means well. He's not an a-hole, but he, he is. messes things up a lot. I think he just, he has so much animosity towards Oliver because of the loss of his daughter that mm -hmm. he just cannot get past it. And it's starting to mess up his work. Yeah. It's just too much. He's right. obsessive over one person and it's, it's detrimental to his job well my issue with that whole scene was the bus like how did they know how did they find yeah. out so quickly i mean yeah. is one of the is somebody on the team is that their undercover person that's telling them and how does you know and, and is that how that happened so quick i mean and how did oliver like not even freak out when the cops came i mean that ruins yeah. like his relationship with with the russian people because it looks like he set them up i right. completely you know agree what I mean? with you yeah. like i thought that was, was like really weird and if it was mckenna that kind of like was leading that and i don't know it was just kind of like too weird too fast and mm -hmm. how, why did they show up twice at both places like the right. cops like show up and you know i don't know i know they want to introduce mckenna but i, I didn't really feel like she was necessary in this particular episode mm -hmm. no no, at least not to that extreme. Like, right. I get it. She's a vice cop, you know, whatever. But it just didn't feel... It felt very forced and way too fast. It wasn't like... There was no kind of setup. All of a sudden, the cops show up and it's this big raid. Like, right. how did they even know what was going on? And I think the story would have been played out a little bit nicer, too, if there was a little bit more chemistry. Because the whole thing was his exes in the show and blah, blah. And yeah. I'm expecting some sort of tension, at least. Right. Because then it would have been a little bit more dramatic when she announces that she was the witness seeing him. It would have felt more like a betrayal. Yeah, but it didn't. Yeah, and he was just like, eh, whatever, it's cool. You're just doing your job. It's like no, yeah, no, it was yeah. so it was weird. Very, you know, nonchalant, and there's like no nothing there, you know, that I feel is between like. Yeah, so like, I mean, whatever. in terms of that kind of storyline, I was a little disappointed. I want again, want to see more of a show. <laughs> well, even when she call when she calls him, and it's kind of like she's fishing for more, and he's like, cool, see you later, good to see you too. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, like he was so not into it. Yeah, I don't know. I think they're gonna make him into it. She's. She's going to be important somehow, some way. Eh. I mean, do you think they're going to get romantically involved again? I think he, again, I think I said this last, ep uh, last uh, after show, I think they're going to make him get involved with a lot of chicks. I want him to get involved with Felicity. Me too. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. Even Bye though girl. she, like, bugs me sometimes. She but does I... bug me, but she's smart, and it's like, you go, yeah. girl, you go. Well, I think her lines are getting a little bit better, too. Yeah. Like, she's still awkward and weird and fumbles, but now it's more funny than it's annoying. I really thought at the end she was going to confess either her love. I, I, I was like, here it comes. 
Yeah. Or like some weird secret about herself that was going to lead her to be a super something. Yeah. But when she just handed the book, I was like, oh, that's it? Yeah. But that was still a big reveal. Well, yeah. It's still big. To it the, it segues you know. into him figuring out that his mother is not quite who he thinks she is. Right. Just as, you know, Speedy keeps telling him. Right. That, you know, she's a liar and, you know, a cheater. But, you know, maybe not in the the way that he, that, that Speedy thinks that she is. But right. in this twisted, cruel Apparently she's the only way. smart one. And uh, yes. figured it out. We <laughs> talked about this last time. Don't you guys think, I mean, you guys, I mean, I could tell in that reaction when she was like, I was nervous to come to your house. Thank you for meeting me at the coffee shop. Like, I feel like Oliver's not dumb. Like, I, like he's a grown man. He probably knows that this girl, like, has feelings for him. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> right. So nervous. And he's like, it's okay. And he was just, like, smiling and being, like, a nice guy. And, like, wasn't being mean to her because sometimes guys get weird yeah. when, you know, they find out or whatever. But... It was cute. I like that. Well, was like, Oliver has a good way of kind of not being able to show his emotions. Like, we never know what he's really thinking or what his motives are. And mm -hmm. I think that's a lot of training from the, from the island. But yeah. yeah, I mean, I guess we can talk about more about Felicity and him because at the end of the episode, we realize that Felicity is like, hey, I'm a smart chick. I need to trust you because I got this journal and Walter gave it to me and it has something to do with his disappearance. Well, I think it seems like she thinks he's dead. Mm -hmm. Right. Everybody thinks he's dead at this point, though. Except for Moira. Well, oh, yeah. Of course. Yeah. yeah. But what do you guys think is going to happen in the next, like, with this revelation, what do you think Oliver is going to do? Do you think Oliver realizes, wow, my mom is kind of twisted something's going on with my mother right now i i at least hope that he doesn't brush it off and that he which i don't think that i don't think he's gonna do no. but i don't want it to go that way and i hope that he really does investigate and see but we just got a tweet talking about when we were talking about mckenna and the police raids or whatever that yeah I, that when we did mention she was talking to her ci or whatever but what my question was is what what part were they in where did they play because when oliver asked her about that it seemed like you know yeah they had information but they didn't really it wasn't like that so i just still felt like it was just just, eh. Yeah, it was just. No, I don't know. I feel it the same way. It was too forced. The whole I think. thing. Like I get it that her CI was there, but you know, it, I mean, that's something she could have told Oliver. Is we have somebody like on the inside in the counts team, but they didn't even know what he looked like. Honestly, so it couldn't have been there. It just didn't yeah. feel really relevant. No, that's, it didn't. That's just, all. <laughs> you know, because yeah. they seemed to have this information about him, but they didn't even know what he looked like. So I, f I feel like if they had yeah. someone in there, they would have at least known what he looked like. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. Whatever. Why do you guys think then, with the first encounter when they called out Oliver for being at the scene of the quote unquote to be crime, mm -hmm. and he totally denied that he knew what the guy looked like? Was that, do you think, just so he could go after him himself? I think yeah, so. Sure. I just think because they're already fumbling stuff up, so I just think that he didn't want them to kind of mess it up any further. And what do you think about his ego as far as him being persistent, even though Diggle's telling him? Dude, seriously, you need to calm down. Mm -hmm. And he's still so adamant. At first, I'm looking at him like you're dumb because when he started to get his butt kicked for a few seconds mm -hmm. on the staircase, I'm like, what are you thinking? Mm -hmm. and well, and opinions. That, well, I think that he was just, he's just thinking about Thea, really. That this is somebody that sold drugs to his sister that could have killed her, especially when he sees you know the effects of it and it, and feels them himself. Right. And I think that's kind of what he was more angry about. And and he even says as much like Thea can't wait. Like, this is not... But Diggle could have gone for him. It's not like Diggle isn't He could have capable. gone with him. Yeah. Right. And he didn't even do that. So I don't know how worried he really was about him because even when he says, I don't need the bow, you know, he just kind of <laughs> was like, all right, then, see you later. Well, I think Oliver, like, he really didn't need to run after him. I know he wasn't thinking, but if he thought, like, for two seconds... It probably would have been played out better, but that's just not the way it works sometimes. I think no. sometimes Oliver's confidence will get in the, in the way in the future. Right, and I, I mean, and that's what right. we see. We see him struggling on the stairs. We see him kind of, like, going in and out of that vertigo feeling, and he's having a hard time, and, you know, hopefully next time he'll, you know, take a minute and get better before he does it. By the way, I mean, this drug does not look like fun. I'm no. just saying. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't understand. He, what, it takes, look, 60 people to perfect it. <laughs> I don't understand what this drug is about. Wait, no, no. 56 <laughs> people died for Vertigo's perfection. Exactly. And they didn't die for nothing, is what he says. But also in the comic, the Vertigo effect, they don't know really the extent of how much it lasts on somebody. Um, in the comic, he uses his brain power, obviously, in the, in the show they're doing a drug. But in the comic, they build it up to this thing where you have to be scared when it happens to you because right. you don't know when it's going to end. But mm -hmm. is it as painful in the comic? Yeah. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> do, do, do you think that, um, I was going to say Steven again. Do you think that Ollie has effects that will uh, we'll notice in future episodes, or do you think this is it? You know, I wonder that, too, because, like, I don't know how much they're going to draw off the comic book, like I said. Mm -hmm. um, they say even when Count Vertigo is around people, you know, if I'm Count Vertigo and you're right there, I could affect you just from standing near cool. you. Right. So, <laughs> well, light seemed like it was affecting him. If you guys notice, yeah. when, yeah. and when yeah. he can brighten his eyes, that's when his vision would start to kind of go, mm, mm -hmm. just a little bit. But I have a little side note for that particular scene where he's coming back to life, coming to on the table. Mm -hmm. And I was like, hi, back. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, did anybody else notice that he was half naked and handcuffed to he a was. table? Yeah, like, you did. <laughs> I did. I he's like, always half naked. Naked. <laughs> but handcuffs <laughs> were out this time. What, why was he handcuffed? Because he reached for Diggle and tried to strangle him when he was coming uh, to the river. Yeah, he almost killed him. Could have, you know, it's kind of scary. Which I didn't understand the point of that, unless yeah. obviously Again. his judgment was impaired as well. Well, and I think he was having the, because it goes right into the flashback. So I think in his head, oh. he was freaking out because that's the last time he's been impaired like that was on the island. And I think that's why it kept going back and forth because this drug is just intensifying his memories. So all of this is becoming very personal to him. And I think that's another reason why, you know, he darts off to, you know, go after this guy and do all this because it's making him relive his stuff on the island too. As a side note from what's going on with Thea and just her buying drugs. Great point. Well, speaking of Thea, I'm, I, I know we're going back and forth, but I, mm. I want to ask, do you guys think that Thea is going to become better now, or do you think she's going to go downhill? Go downhill, being under Laurel's wing. <sighs> Oh. I'm getting off so easy, in my opinion. But I'm, I'm trying to give because I know it talks so much. I'm trying to give you give the floor over. All right, Annika, what do you think? Um, I think it could go either way. I mean, I think Laurel will be a good influence on her, but I also think that she could still go downhill. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that. I think she'll be good. Um, that that'll be my vote right now. That I think she'll be. Like, do you think she'll be as interesting if she's good? Probably not. <laughs> but, <laughs> but at the same time, what about when she meets her to be potentially speedy too, Roy Harper, who is from the bad side of the woods? That's true. You know what I mean? I don't know if I necessarily see her yeah. going straight arrow. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> it's interesting, though, because Laurel was saying that Thea was just like Sarah, her yeah. sister. And, and I think that's why there's so much of a connection mm -hmm. there. Even mm -hmm. towards the end where she was... I don't know what the dialogue was in the conversation, but it just seemed like Laura was very endearing towards her. Yeah. I don't know, you picked up on that. It was kind of like a little sister thing. Yeah. yeah. But it, for her, maybe it just it felt good to have that type of figure in her life. And having Thea kind of being the connection between Laurel and Oliver, mm -hmm. you saw the connection between Laurel and Oliver like grow. You're like, oh, they're getting closer. It's just a matter of time before Tommy gets his heart broken. That's true. Well, well, just a side note about Speedy. You know, um, I was reading today that um, Mia Dearden was the name of the second Speedy when Kevin Smith took over the comics. So I wonder if they're going to... Because, you know, they know. said they're, they're yeah. going to bring in and there may be another person. So right. I guess this time it'll, you know, we'll see if they use that at all. Just a little mm. bit of Arrow trivia. Um, I do know, I don't know if this is jumping ahead, but just because we're talking about Laurel and Speedy yeah. and, and <laughs> you know, the Black Canary, kind of want to throw that one in there. They just casted a, a girl named Alex Kingston as the mother for her, oh, for, oh, right. for Laurel, and mm -hmm. I guess she's on, she was on ER. I looked at a picture of this woman, and I apologize because I did not watch ER, but she looked amazing and young, so I'm a little bit thrown off by that, and it could have been just great lighting in the I, picture. I don't know. Well, it's got to be flashbacks, right? Because she's... Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It was just a headshot of the girl who got, got casted. No, I know, oh. but in, in the show, show, doesn't it have to be flashback? Oh. No, because we talked about this last week. No, but week. she's coming back as potentially the Black Canary, though. Or at least in the comic book. As, I mean, you can verify for me, but I, was, I read in the comic book that... The original Black Canary was actually Laurel's mother who comes back to explain, I guess, why she abandoned her family, which was pretty much because of the sister's death. Yeah. Yeah, I can see, like, yeah, yeah. see it yeah. happening. Okay. <laughs> well, if she's a superhero, then she's supposed to look young. Oh, okay. She age. Youthful. <laughs> I need to be a superhero, too, apparently. Well, Tommy's dad looks young, too. I mean, I, I, don't, I see the age difference. Don't yeah, see yeah, the yeah, age yeah, difference yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so. You know, people these days age very well now. 
Well, John yeah. Barrowman was crediting to the fact that he seems to think his character just had a rough life and had children at a very young age. Is Which what he could said. be, yeah, because he doesn't seem to be very old either. He seems no, to be a lot like younger brothers. than um, than uh, Moira. Yes, very much so. so. Yeah, and plus, I mean, he can fight as the other arrow. I mean, come on, he can't be that old. Yeah, <laughs> right, right, yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> So what do you guys think? Um, I'm gonna we're gonna go to predictions soon, but what about uh, the island scene? I think we should talk about that a little bit because it, it sh showed that after all that, Yao Fei wasn't a traitor or betraying him or anything like that. He was actually helping him out. What do you think they're gonna ha what's gonna happen next? Like, what? Why do you think is reason of the map being tucked into him and like saving him? Like, are they gonna meet somewhere for more training? I he has so. a plan. Yeah. Has a plan. What, what do you think the plan could be? I mean, I, I love the island. That's like my favorite scene because you see so much of the past and the reason why Oliver is the way he is. But I just want to know. Maybe Yao Fei has just been trapped for so long and he's the only one who's still left in that mindset of being a good guy, if you will. So Oliver is like fresh meat to him in a sense where he's got that fresh perspective so he can train him to the way he wants him mm -hmm. to be trained. And mm -hmm. then he has now a two man team versus just him by himself. But obviously he's got to be a part of the masses so that way he doesn't get himself in trouble either. I wonder if he kind of sees Oliver as himself when he was younger because you know he's on the island because he killed somebody but we don't know to what extent that was if it was in self defense or if it was malicious or whatever we don't really know but from what we do know of his character it doesn't seem like he's a killer per se it was it was right. more it seemed like it would have been more for survival right so, i mean and, and i don't know if they explain that in the comics or if they say that yeah. you know which which way it went yeah but, i can't remember <laughs> but you know that's kind of what it seems like to me so uh, the way that i take it is it, it's kind of like he sees him as kind of a version of himself and he's trying to help him out and that's how they're going to form the alliance he's going to take care of him and kind of teach him everything he knows right. and that's how he becomes i would love to see like a whole episode know. on the island alone yeah. yeah well he has a daughter that's supposed to pop up somewhere shadow yeah or? yeah the, mm -hmm. the daughter yeah we don't get enough of that island stuff no uh -huh. well this i know it needs to be like a three-hour show right <laughs> so we can get all the good stuff in so much I don't good things know. happen in this episode and like the show generally yeah well, the last episode and this episode were really good. It kind of br brought me back from the one I thought was kind of. I know we dull. we actually thought about you last episode. <laughs> yeah. we're like uh, she missed a good. episode. I know it was so <laughs> much better. I was watching it last night and just like freaking out, especially when you know when the whole uh, thing when Thea thought that her mom was cheating and she kind of caught them. I thought she heard the conversation, so I was bummed that she didn't hear anything that they talked about. That she just saw like the back rub. Is that's what yeah. all she kept seeing is the back rub. Yeah. But what would you think if you yeah. saw your mom? And well, no, no, rub. I totally get it. But she's like so close i'm like how do you not hear what they're talking about but it wasn't right. like it's <laughs> loud huge, yeah it's so quiet up there she's by herself <laughs> still no reason to take a drug that you're not used to and no, drive somewhere. i know it's not it's never good to do drugs. i am still that in not shock the that you are on the Thea's side i'm not really on her saying. side i'm not really on her side i'm not saying what she did is good let, let me clarify i'm not on her <laughs> side i'm not saying what she did is right i'm just saying that i i get it and for them i i absolutely think she needs to be punished she definitely needs to understand the consequences of what she's done i definitely think that and she did get off a little too easy but as far as like throwing the book at her and making her the example i just i don't think that but who else would be force. the example i mean it was early on it was like man rich chick let's make her the right? example he's up for re-election yeah, <laughs> yeah but, that, but those yeah. are the reasons you know it's because he <laughs> wants to make himself look better you know she obviously needs help more than she needs to be in jail right and that's something that everybody keeps overlooking right but doesn't jail make her better no, no. Jail is just detox. <laughs> they I should mean, have signed her to a counselor. Is what they should have. Yes, yeah, she yeah. should have gotten. You know, she should have gotten something yeah. more where she was at least having to, do, you know, mandatory, you know, counseling sessions or, well, or something else. I, I think that her sentence was not. I guess enough. she has something like that with Laurel. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's got a job, Kinda. but I mean, I don't really. She's got a better better job than a lot of people do nowadays. <laughs> yeah, it's true. true. Mm -hmm. But I don't see her really like opening up and talking about real things. Like I think she kind of she I mean she needs help and I think that would have been the key to see which way she was going to go. But, you know, I think she may go down that bad path because nobody's really making her responsible for what she's doing. Right. I just think that it it wasn't fair for them to go like that hardcore on her. But it, sh it should have been a little bit in the, the middle, and I think it went a little too far soft. See, I'm, I'm, I'm on the other side. <laughs> Fine. But. Fine. We'll go to iTunes. <laughs> rate us and comment, and let me know if you're Who on side my side. Who side are you on? I, I'm, all, I'm alone in this argument. Yes, she is. <laughs> Tell me what you guys think. I don't know. <laughs>
<laughs> she needs the help. No. <laughs> Apparently, I do. I don't know. So, do you guys have any news and gossip? I think I do. Ooh. All right. TV news. Okay, so I don't know how gossipy this is, but for me, I just discovered Stephen Amell's uh, his YouTube channel. You and just discovered it. I know, it. right? I'm so late. <laughs> but I thought it was really cool for those of you who are just as late as I am. Mm -hmm. I thought it was really cool that he was celebrating his 50,000 likes on Facebook. And so oh. by doing so, he did a three-part movie, not movie, but a little questionnaire where he took questions from his fans. I think it was a total of 50 questions, and he answered their questions. And I thought that was really neat that he interacts with people. It makes him a little bit more accessible. It's very smart on his behalf, but at the same time, it's just it makes him that much more real and humble mm -hmm. so I just wanted to announce that so you was guys was there any cool questions that we would love to hear um, I mean yeah, I thought it was really he's kind of funny uh, I thought it was kind of funny that he was filming episode 16 which he said it should be titled holy shit balls <laughs> that was kind of cool <laughs> um, oh, <laughs> <laughs> he and a friend actually are starting their own winery. Oh. Uh, yes, and it is called Knocking Point Wines, which is a reference to archery. I'm just not familiar with archery, <laughs> so I wouldn't be able to tell you. Uh, he also talked about his workout regimen. He does parkour, which if you guys don't know, that's the crazy stuff where you that run against the crazy walls stuff. and flip off of stuff. That's pretty cool. It's fun. Um, what and else? Oh, he has a blog, which I've yet to look up. I kind of want to do. I think he's only done three entries. Mm -hmm. He's what he said, but mm -hmm. I'm really curious to... to How does know. he find time? <laughs> I have no... Well, he's, yeah, actually, he says, I, I'll sleep when I'm 50. There you, <laughs> go. Oh, there you go. One of his quotes. Um, what else did I read about him? That's pretty much it for the most part. You guys can, I was really interested. So, I mean, if you have time, definitely Google him, YouTube him. Seems well, like he was, you know, he did, did a big press tour this last week. He was on Kelly and Michael. Yes. He was mm -hmm. on Entertainment Tonight. So he did a lot of stuff. So there's a lot of cool videos. If you go to Entertainment Tonight's um, Twitter page or Facebook or whatever, you can get the link of it and where he talks about, you know, upcoming episodes and, you know, his character in depth and being naked and how he thinks that if they, you know, he's okay with having his shirt off all the time. Yeah. And Well, yeah. he works hard for that body. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and he, you know, and, he, and they do a fun little trivia kind of Q&A with him on, you know, what he prefers, if he prefers, like, climbing rope or doing that bar thing that he does yeah. and he likes the bar thing that better. Thing hard. Yeah. yeah. You know? Well, you know, I was going to say, he actually, I guess we're going to start getting into Twitter, but he says that he he reads the tweets that people tweet him when it's airing in other countries because he can't watch it for the first time and tweet because it's too much. He likes to mm -hmm. you know watch his performance, but when it's airing a second time in another country, that's when he checks just to see what other people are saying. So if you are in another country and you want to get in touch with him, I'm guessing that's mm -hmm. the best time frame to try to do so while you're tweeting him. Tell him that he should check out after Buzz because yes. we want to get him on the show. It. Tag, Tag us, in us it. repeatedly because I'm going to do that when I get home. Gosh, doggy, we're going to get him on the show. We would love to have him on the show. I mean, and Steven, if you're watching this, mm -hmm. ladies are down to have you on this couch. We can talk, <laughs> talk so, so anything and everything. You're always welcome. Absolutely. Even after the show. <laughs> Any other news and gossip you guys got? No, I think that's about it. All right, well, let's move over to the tons of predictions. And now, your After Buzz TV predictions. I know we've got tons of predictions that we already talked about, like Felicity discovering that, you know, the whole journal thing obviously is discovered, but, you know. And she has to know. I mean, the look on her face, she has to know he's seen that before. I mean, because his initial reaction, so? as yeah. subtle as it was, she's she's smart. She's we smart. know that about her. And yeah. just her reaction back when she tried to keep it subtle, she totally knew something Yeah, about. when yeah. he was like, I've never seen this before. She was like, you are full of bees. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally. I think she knows something's up. So that'll be interesting to see, like, how long that lasts. I hope that they, they go to that um, plot point in the next episode because I can't wait. That was like one of my favorite endings mm, this whole yeah, season. Yeah, it was a great one. Absolutely. So hopefully, you know, maybe he'll tell her or she'll discover that he's Well, that's Errol. my, I'm like, I'm thinking she's going to be the one to find out mm -hmm. that it's him before before anyone else. Do you think she's going to find out or do you think he's going to tell her? I think she's going to find out. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I agree. Yeah. I think they're going to get romantically evolved. He's going to give her <laughs> the time of her life and then he's going to diss her for Laurel. That's what <laughs> no. I think is going to happen. See, purpose. that's my thing, though. Like, if you are going to go with Felicity Smoke, do not hurt her feelings. Well, no, I don't think he'll do it intentionally. I think he's going to realize that there's no passion there and he's going to just nicely 
kind of yeah. bow out. I think it'll wear off pretty quickly. One of many like, women. I see that, if that yeah. happens, I see that just being a little fling. I don't exactly. think it lasting very long. So, and uh, then she'll turn into an evil villain because yes. she's scorned. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, I mean, totally. that's very possible. She'll be vengeful for sure. I want to know where he keeps his makeup. I only see him pull the hood. Was that you who asked that question? <laughs> he only pulls the hood when he leaves. So does he keep it in the pocket? Right? It's gotta be a pocket. <laughs> so like, where does go. he do it? That's magic right there. Five minute makeup. Right? Totally. To become the arrow. I don't know. What do you think is gonna happen? Um, I think, I mean, I wanna see some, I wanna see something with Felicity in him. Um, I hope she doesn't get hurt because she's a nice girl. But yeah. it's like it's sweet. And I I want things to heat up like even more with Laurel and him. Honestly, yeah, I, I want I want Laurel and Tom to break Tommy, up. Yeah. yeah, I want them to like. Yeah, I, I I don't think that's gonna that's gonna be too easy. Like that's the that's the Ross and Rachel thing. You right. know what I mean? So that they're gonna drag that out. I I mean, I'll be very surprised if we see that anytime the, soon. The way I feel about Laurel and Oliver is we know it's gonna happen. I would be okay if it never happened. <laughs> <sighs> She's well, just I, not my favorite character. But I think that there's gonna be a relationship with her and the arrow. Like yes. that's what I think. Yeah, like, that yeah. they're I gonna have like a little probably. Rubble, you know, kind of like the whole like Superman Lois Lane. We talked thing, about this so yeah. really. You did yes. you you were in love with him for how many years and you don't recognize him <laughs> right. because he has a hood on and some, I know. some smoky yeah. Yeah, it's exactly. exactly. But it's totally gonna be that. And we've talked about that before, but you know, he's just gonna keep the hood down while they make out. Right. <laughs> and I you know, Laurel's gonna soon find out that her father deceived her too, and then Moira is maybe in the same episode because they always have these parallels that mm. Oliver's gonna find out what Moira did too. Yeah. Oh, he will. A it's supposed to be like between the, episode like 14 and 16. Oh, I think it's is coming when he finds up. Out. Yeah. Right. You know, I'm I'm hoping that he's gonna find the boat. Like that's what he's gonna find to lead him to going to to figuring out what she's doing. Do you think we'll see Walter before the end of the season? Ooh. I don't know. Maybe the finale. I, yeah, I feel like it's gonna. I feel like it's gonna be like the like cliffhanger. Yeah. yeah. We're about to see him, and then it'll be like do, 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 to be continued. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh gosh. I don't know. <laughs> and I think at that point Walter's gonna know what's up. Oh yeah, you know. he's gotta know by now. Yeah, he's been kidnapped. <laughs> I wonder so. if they, I wonder if they have him on vertigo, <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> Poor Walter, they what have, are you doing? They have so many different storylines that it's so hard to keep up because every episode doesn't focus on all of them. So you're just like, oh yeah, that happened a couple episodes ago. Yeah. So I, gosh. I know. I'm excited to see where it goes. They need, Me too. Yeah. I want to see more of the the Dark Archer. Yeah, yes. absolutely. I like villains, villains except for the Huntress. Hopefully. Who's coming? She's yeah, coming, coming back. Is that a villain? Oh, OMG. Or what? Okay, I just realized I totally <laughs> gave false information. It was not Seth Gable that Stephen Amell was fighting for the role. It was Manu or Manu uh, Bennett. That's who it was. Uh, Sorry, that just dawned on me. I had to correct myself. <laughs> Thank you for the correction. <laughs> Anytime. That's good. Yeah. Do you guys have any other predictions you want to share? Um, I do think as viewers, we're going to be conflicted when we discover what the motivation is be behind Moira and Tommy's dad and why they've made this deal that we don't know what it is yet. But I think we're going to be conflicted. I think that it's going to come out to be something where we find out that they made this deal to better either their kids' lives or better the life, or they think it's good for society. I don't know. I think it's going to be something where we're like, okay, understand the motivation because you're a parent and you want to take care of your children, but at the same time, you know, as a viewer, you're, you're, you already hate Moira. You already hate Tommy's mm -hmm. dad. So mm -hmm. do I hate them? Do I love them? I don't know. See, but I, I, I'm kind of conflicted with that because of the list. The list is supposed to be with full of, like, negative people that are ruining the city. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how that might work. But I, it could. I mean, you're familiar with the comic books, so. <laughs> what do you guys think about that? I am saying she's our trusted comic book yeah. advisor. <laughs> yeah. Try not to give too much away. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean... CW and comics, though, loose, maybe loosely based. So we'll yes. Yeah, we'll see yeah. How, how strict they stick to it. Yes. You know? We'll see. So in the meantime, you guys, we would love to be followed. So where can we find you guys? My address is uh -huh. one point. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you can find me at Kiss My Passport, or you can follow me on Facebook or Tumblr under Ali Kona Bradford. You can follow me on Facebook, Annika, uh, like Facebook.com slash Annika Michelle One, or Twitter, Annika underscore Michelle. Stephen Amell, you can follow me on Twitter <laughs> at Ann Campia. And you can follow me at Kelly with an IE 079. 
And you can follow me and Tumblr as well at Kaorius, K-O-R-I-O-U-S, and on my White on Rice show. And you can follow all of us on AfterBuzz TV and at AfterBuzz TV. And thank you for tuning in. Rate, comment, and love us. And we love you guys back. Thank Yay. you. See you next From week. From Bing.com, yeah. executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth and AfterBuzz TV. <laughs> Bye. Bye. See you later. <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.